Hey everybody, this is Matt Shu at Upright Health and today I'm going to show you a couple things to do for stiff shoulders, shoulders that just feel real tight from sitting at a computer all day um, and, and being in that hunched position that you're in in front of the computer um, while you're doing things like watching YouTube videos. Or, you know, if you actually do real work at work, then doing work. So when you're sitting at your desk at work, a lot of times what happens is you'll be caught in this position, you'll be kind of slouched forward, you'll be staring at your screen with your awesome Facebook posts uh, with people posting pictures of their kittens, their dogs, or their babies, and it's really, really, really interesting, and so you end up getting stuck here. What happens when you get stuck here is these muscles of your upper back we tend to think of them as our upper back, but basically these shoulder muscles, these muscles that control your shoulder blades, um, they actually will get really pissed off because they're basically in a lengthened position all day long and they're just working to kind of maintain your head and neck position. So you're like this all day or like this and then you're typing, sitting around waiting for lunch to come and these muscles will basically, I've heard it said by a strength coach, uh, Mike Boyle actually said, um, I think, was it Mike Boyle? No, sorry, I think it was actually uh, Craig Liebenson said, um, you know, basically within about three minutes, uh, these muscles are already starved of oxygen because you're just sitting here and they're working, they're working long and they're getting annoyed. So a lot of people I see who work at offices, this is a big, big deal. You need a solution for this. You need something that can help you get through the day so your shoulders stop aching. You stop feeling like you need to get a massage every 30 minutes. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to show you a way to give yourself a kind of massage that will help your shoulders feel good for the whole day, or at least if not the whole day, long enough before you have to do it again for yourself and give yourself a, another massage. Does that make sense? Kind of lost myself there too. The biggest, biggest issue is really that you're in the same position all day long. If I put you in this position for five minutes, I guarantee you're going to feel like you need to fidget and move. But if I put you in this position for 50 minutes, but I stick your phone in front of your face, or I stick your screen in front of your face, you're going to be distracted by the screen and you're not going to feel how uncomfortable your body is. So your natural response when you're stuck in this, this one position all the time is to move. Your body wants to move so blood gets flowing, you get nutrients into the muscles, things will just feel better. So the first solution I'm going to show you is to simply move your shoulders and make them get a little bit of exercise. Okay, so. Normally you can do this while sitting, but I'm going to force you to get up because frankly your butt's also taking a hit when you're sitting in the seat all day. So I want to get you standing up so that when you do this, you're helping your shoulders and your butt. You're going to just go right up against the wall so that you can actually feel that you're standing up straight. And you're going to have your heels uh, just a little bit off of the baseboard. Uh, if you have a bigger butt, you may need to come a little bit farther away from the wall with your heels just to make sure you're not you're not overextending your back like this just to reach the wall. So somebody who's got a bigger butt than I do needs to be a little bit further away from the wall. So basically, uh, you're just gonna have your head, the back of your head, like right here. You're gonna have that right up against the wall. You're gonna have your shoulders back against the wall. And what you're gonna do is pull the shoulder blades in towards each other and then relax. So basically it's like this and then relax. This and relax. So shoulder blades in and then relax, shoulder blades in and then relax. And what you're doing is you're taking your shoulder blades from this position that they're normally stuck in all day long and you're training them to come back. Letting those muscles learn, hey, this is what we're supposed to be doing, this is how we're supposed to work. That pumps some blood, that makes you feel better, it's a win-win for everybody. Okay. The next exercise is just a slightly uh, modified version of that, it's a shrug. So instead of just pulling together, what you're going to do is pull together, keep the shoulder blades together, bring the shoulders up, back down, and then relax. So again, it's shoulders together, shoulders up, down, 
and relax. So your shoulders are staying together as you're going up and down and that's training these muscles to actually work in a, in a better position that's a little bit healthier for them. Uh, you can tell I'm actually in an office. I don't know if you can hear this, but there's a phone. There's a phone ringing on the other side of this wall. Can't really hear it. Can you hear it? I can't hear it. Anyway, um, so for a lot of people, um, just doing those, those shoulder blade uh, retractions and these shoulder shrugs can be really helpful for just making the, for really reducing that, that shoulder tension. Um, it just feels so much better just to do that a couple times. I, I even have shown this to uh, you know, an editor of a, a Pulitzer Prize winning uh, journalistic outlet. Um, and she was just doing simple, simple shoulder blade retractions and she said, you know, it feels as good as a massage. And it can because you're helping these muscles come back to a more normal um, state of tension rather than that hypertensive uh, position that they're always in while you're working at the computer. Now, for some people it's not enough. Sometimes there's, there's actually stuff in there. It's like the muscles have forgotten how to actually relax. The connective tissue no longer allows for full relaxation, in which case a ball, a tennis ball, the cross ball, um, shot put ball, maybe if you have strong walls, can be really, really helpful. So what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna take this ball, stick it against the wall, and you're gonna put it right up against your shoulder. So you're gonna just roll just all along those tight spots that you feel, and you're gonna be looking for spots that are particularly, exquisitely painful. When you find a spot like that, you hang out on it, and just wiggle back and forth on it. Try to get it to loosen up a little bit. Um, so you can see I'm working all along here, up along the top of the shoulder. You can also work all along here, so right on the shoulder blade, um, just in that area. So if I want to do that, I just put the ball a little bit lower, and now it's invisible to the camera, but it is not invisible to my brain because I definitely feel that. Um, so a lot of people right on the shoulder blade will actually have some pretty painful, awful spots um, that can even refer pain down into the hands. If that's you, you might want to throw a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball behind you and start working right into that shoulder blade because you'll probably find some, find some pretty awesome spots right in there. Um, so this is like giving yourself a massage. It is a massage, except you're using a ball. Um, and it's super cheap to get a $3 ball and just get on in there, work it out. You can move your, sh your arm around like this and, yep, find some good stuff in there. Um, definitely for a lot of uh, computer users, right up here along the neck and around the, uh, the top of the shoulder blade into the upper trapezius muscle tends to be a really, really fun spot. And by fun, I mean painful but you probably already knew that. So that covers the uh, three different exercises that can be super helpful for you. They're really simple, you can do them anywhere. Um, with the shoulder blade retraction, I would do those for three sets of 10. Just You can knock them all out, knock them all out as a, a set of 30 if you'd like. Um, and then the shrug, same thing, three sets of 10. Uh, with the ball, I would recommend using the ball first before you do those two uh, shoulder exercises uh, and then see how they feel. Um, so if you do those shoulder exercises and you feel pinching or something just feels gnarly in there, use the ball first, then do the shoulder blade uh, retractions and shrugs. Um, and then with the, with the knots that you might find up here, uh, those usually go away within the first month, sometimes even the first week or two. Uh, if they don't go away, you may need to do something a little more in-depth. You may need to actually uh, work a little bit harder to, to normalize things up here. But uh, for most people, a lot of people anyway, um, those retractions, the shrugs, and the lacrosse ball up in here tend to be really, really helpful for dealing with that, uh, that office work shoulder that uh, seems to get so many, so many people. If you have any questions, you can always leave a comment on YouTube. Um, and uh, you could also find me on my website at uprighthealth.com where you can subscribe to my newsletter and uh, check out all the other things that I write about on my blog. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel 
And remember that pain sucks, life shouldn't.